Hello everyone. December the 2nd, actually it's already the 3rd as I'm recording this. Isn't it so when a story is at its most difficult point and everything seems hopeless in a good story, that's when an unexpected twist enters the scene. Something nobody expected, something which twists everything 180 degrees around. I sh told you quite a while ago, months ago, I guess, December would be the high point when the clash really becomes tangible, when everybody must see something is totally different things change fast we are at this point right now we just arrived december is the month of fundamental shift we will see it's not that Everything will be resolved, but we will be at the point very soon, if not by the end of the month, then certainly by early February, when it becomes crystal clear that we are at the upper hand, that whatever the dark forces are still throwing into the game is just not enough. It will fail all of that is coming clear actually in the next short while since november the 30th we are in the mayan wave of the um the warrior here we have one warrior this is the final leg in this yellow southern castle which began um, on October the 22nd with one caban. October 22nd happened to be the day when Venus was exactly aligned with the sun, right behind the sun. So this was a powerful day in itself, the birth of the evening star, which still is in its most early gestation phase. It will first become visible around the 10th of December, around a powerful full moon, which is the hinge of shift, as it's a full moon charged by Mars, with that Mars occultation in the center. This in itself is the fractal that something of great magnitude is occurring, something which really will shift everything 180 degrees around, as I said. So anyway, the fourth and final leg, the fourth 13-day cycle of this 52-period, 52 52-day 52 period, October the 22nd into um, early January, I guess, something like that. I guess it's earlier than that. I would have to look it up again. Actually, let me just go there. I have it right here on the screen. I wrote this post yesterday in... Um, my on my Facebook account Celestial Rhythms those of you who are not yet um, on my page there here I will post I'm posting regularly all things I mean I can't always do a YouTube so anyway this is um, a powerful phase we are in from today into December 12th, this is the final leg of this yellow southern castle. South is the direction of accomplishment, flowering, bringing something full circle to its conclusion, crowning the story. So that's what has been building since May 19 is coming really to a 
a completion, you could say. And then we get into what's called the Green Central Castle, which is a very special um, attribute of the Mayan calendar as such. With one Muluk, we're getting into the final 52 days. which is the time of refocusing on what really matters. It is after having gone all four directions out 52 days each, we now go back to the core, integrate what has been shifted and build the seed for what is to come is the time of renewal versus where we are still in and coming to a crescendo is the time of the expansion of the light after the transformation, the expansion and then renewal, the building of the seed. And by early February, the 6th or the 3rd of February, actually, we will enter a new 260 day around, a new beginning in that sense from the galactic alignment with time. So this is just right now today for Greenwich, pretty close. Something really special happened just in the last hours or so that the Sun crossed over the 10th degree, Venus over the 20th and the Moon entered Aries. Lots of fire the sun now in the Aries Dwarf between 10 and 12.30 um, Sag is the Aries Dwarf and Venus in the Leo Dwarf between 20 and 22.30 and the moon naturally here in Aries now for the next two days and um, I mean so many things are going on it's it's fire is in the roof you could say I guess it's um, not um, exaggerated that's what we feel so um, let's go here to a few charts which are lined up um, the shift of the nodes that was a big one the nodes crossing backwards into hexagram 24 the north node which is return which is the time of coming to a turning point literally this is the hexagram this is the sign the first signs of spring the return of the expansion and on the other side, we have hexagram 44, which is the kind of the temptation to go um, into the wrong direction. So there is this eternal struggle, the last temptation, you could call it, <laughs> pulling us into the wrong direction so there is this struggle going on and it definitely gains intensity the beauty of this moment when this lunar node change was um, anchored the moon with Arakot and Hilonome again as you now probably know this is the energy of really seeing what is going on in a much bigger way so yes it is whatever is happening in the next short while will open the eyes to many people interesting that the sun here five degrees it is actually yesterday when this axis was crossed and now Antares is activated which is here 
at the Ascendant, Antares is the one of the four royal stars, one of the four bright stars very close to the ecliptic, which means that path the sun is apparently moving on. So Antares is a Mars Saturn energy, Aldebaran is on the other side. This is one of the most powerful axes in the zodiac, which brings in that kind of again that final conflict of antagonism then on the 30th there was the first quarter moon the moon now heading towards full moon we are now definitely in this week of building the power for a breakthrough of some sort so something is really brewing there the moon in a perfect angle to tx 300 the sun in a 150 degree angle tx 300 is loud bold in your face something which cannot be overseen very kind of a martian energy as well and this is the chart for Greenwich for the first quarter moon and what you see here is the 11th degree of Taurus rising that was the degree where we had the April 30th solar eclipse so this is reactivating the eclipse of earlier this year and then Just hours earlier, actually, Pallas had its station, Pallas um, Affini. Um, where is she here? 2633. Having gone forward for the last whatever eight months, and now as Earth is moving between the sun and palace hmm. palace is out farther out palace appears to go backwards so this is now the phase of integrating what we have perceived the patterns which have been observed are now coming home you could say and we just had this first conjunction with the black moon a few days ago and in another few days as they are so close to each other palace will move backwards over the black moon again i guess on the pretty much uh, in rhythm with the um full moon so it seems everything is geared towards um kind of pulling the cloak of something big I mean it's happening all the time those of us who are um, following the story are knowing that however it seems we are at the point where a much much larger public will be stumbling over what is going on Venus here um, at the ascendant beautiful again here with Huya together Huya is the energy of revisiting the past and integrating what has been going on. Very important. Come to terms and healing. It's an energy which often shows up in therapy. I guess that's what we are going through collectively right now. It is that catching up with reality the 18th degree here um yes on the ascendant and overall this conjunction here is active for a few days now of venus mercury and 
hygieia. This is another indication that these present days, I mean, the, the, uh, there's just so many synchronicities everywhere. I guess you also experience that everyone in their own way. Serendipity is the big word for hygieia. And if we now go to December 4, then heliocentric Jupiter will enter the Leo Dwarf. Jupiter here, 10, 0, 0, 0. Adding even more fuel into the fire. And interesting is that we have the same degree repeating as we had in the chart prior. You see when Pallas, Pallas turns retrograde exactly the other way around. As I shown you earlier, this when this is the case that two celestial events are activating the same horizon then they start connecting with each other these two energies so this will be the real start of of, of something bigger next sunday that is the december the fourth in the afternoon Greenwich time this would be morning time in North America it might be something internal and subtle at first but it will um, show um, certainly off in many ways with Mercury in Aquarius now heliocentrically just coming out of this conjunction with Pluto. Now, even more so, if we now translate this heliocentric chart into a geocentric one, just see how it looks from planet Earth's perspective. It's even more um, obvious that this shift of Jupiter entering the 10th degree heliocentrically brings Mars here at the Ascendant and then here you have the perfect conjunction of Venus with Hygieia so it all kind of tells us that Mars is now a force to be in the limelight and as we are just days away on December 4th from full moon which will bring Mars exactly into full moon axis so overall this is just setting the stage I thought I keep it at that here for this recording I wanted to be short this time just show you there is a tremendous force building up uh, something um, which is out of the ordinary which we will just be uh, even us who kind of are following the story closely it will be a jaw-dropping month unexpected twists and turns as I said with which bring a hopeless case into a totally new environment and things all of a sudden take on a totally different color something of that sort so hold the ground be positive know that change is on its way and just do the right thing, be strong, be bold. 
we are the ones who are already in power new earth is already here it is pushing those dark forces out of this bandwidth they are no more able to sustain themselves that's what becomes obvious more and more so yes it's exciting times everything is chaotic yes but out of chaos stars are born as they say thank you and um stay tuned <laughs>